Hey, you all know that I am Aurora Day, and this is the Secured Entrepreneur Movement. Today, we're going to get into how it is you're going to invest that stimulus check. I want to thank all of you who are continuing to email us here. Please continue to do so. Info at AuroraDayConsulting.com. So you know Miss Aurora has read your emails. You are saying, yes, I've heard what you said in your videos. I want to do something with this stimulus check. I know that I need to invest simply because this whole pandemic has shown me that I need to have some other things in place. I need to have this money coming in consistently, all right? The challenge is that you don't, you are new to investing. You don't really know where to go, what to do, and you don't really feel comfortable with risk. Okay, so now Mr. Aurora is going to share two things with you in this video, two things, okay? I want to say that if in fact you need a little, you know, hand holding, you need to have way more information. You need to pick up the phone and talk to someone, get some advice. You need to know exactly what to do, okay? I'm going to recommend Stash, okay? Now, Stash is for individual accounts only. And you all know here in the Secured Entrepreneur Movement that Miss Aurora does not agree with any type of accounts, brokerage accounts, you know, checking accounts, being in your personal name. Everything should be handled by, you know, some type of business account, whether that be a limited liability company or a trust for a variety of reasons, okay? But for those of you who are emailing saying, I'm not ready to really be aggressive. I don't know too much, okay? I'm going to suggest Stash simply because you're going to get the education, all right? You have access to customer service representatives who will assist you. Now, the reason why I'm saying Stash is because what you are telling me in your emails is that you really want to find something where you're comfortable at maybe $25. You're comfortable at $50. Some of you said $100 to $150 because you don't know how this thing goes. Well, Stash is offering fractional shares of companies, okay? So basically, you don't have to buy a whole share. You can do this in pieces. So if you want to, if you want to spend twenty dollars this month, Stash is going to allow you to do that. Okay. If you want to spend fifty dollars this month, Stash is going to allow you to do this. They have a variety of options going on. Okay. You can get shares of stocks. You can get shares of mutual funds. Okay. Now, the the con, as far as I'm concerned, again, this is for personal use only. You will not be able to do a business account. You will not be able to get an account with your LLC or your trust. This is for individual brokerage accounts. However, there are fees, okay? So for $3 a month, you can get an individual brokerage account along with, with a retirement account. You can get a Roth IRA or a simple IRA, okay? Also, for $9 a month, you can get the individual brokerage account, you can get the retirement accounts, but you will also get uh, custodial accounts, custodial, so that if in fact now you're doing this with your children and you want your child to have an investment account, to which I am 100% in agreement with, okay, you can have that at $9 a month, all right? There are no annual fees, there are no monthly fees as it relates to these accounts. You just have the fees for being on the platform and getting access to the product. So you got the $3 and you got the $9, okay? So that is what Ms. Rory wants to say for the individuals who have not gone all the way. You haven't started any type of business, so you don't have any uh, legal entities, all right? Now I want to move on to where Mr. Aurora really takes the secured entrepreneurs, okay? If in fact you are new, you are new, okay, at this whole investment game, but you know you need to make a move. You know that you need to now have this consistent income coming in, I'm going to suggest Schwab, okay? Schwab is where we're going today. All right, here we are on Schwab.com. The investor who is the beginner will love Schwab because just as I shared with you about Stash, Schwab has a premium education platform, okay? Everything that you need to know about 
buying stocks, trading stocks, ETFs, mutual funds, annuities, futures, anything, okay? All of the information that you need to be in the know and to make informed decisions, you will be able to obtain all of that information here. You also have customer service. You can pick up the phone and call whomever you need to call to get the assistance that you're looking for, okay? There are no account minimums. You've got access to well over 4,000 funds with, with no minimum investment, okay? Let's go to open up an account because... What did I say? Mr. Aurora is not a fan of opening accounts for individuals, so we're not going to choose the brokerage account. We're going to come on down here and choose the trust option, okay? And remember, you know as a secured entrepreneur, we are building wealth and we are not creating any taxable events. And you know that whenever you have monies coming to yourself individually, that is uh, taxable income to you, okay? So we go in the other direction because we're working on something big. So right now it's asking us to choose a type of trust account. So for many of us, we're only going to have a single trustee unless, of course, you've got two or more trustees in your trust setup, okay? So we're going to choose a single trustee for this demonstration and we're going to press continue okay you may hear a little noise because my system is real hot over here okay open a revocable living trust account we're not doing that because the revocable living trust means that the grantor and the trustee are the same person there are no tax benefits there so we are going the irrevocable trust route now because we're doing that they're asking us to complete the paper application. Don't be intimidated by this 28-page application because you're not touching a majority of those pages, okay? So you're going to see here on the first page where they're saying, For an irrevocable trust, attach a copy of the title page or first page and all signature pages of the trust documentation along with this application, okay? So we know that we're in the right place. They're also giving you the toll-free number and everything that you need to call to complete this situation, this application, not a situation. <laughs> okay, so we're going to check in the first uh, establish your accounts. We're checking the open a Schwab One trust account and a Schwab Bank high yield investor checking trust account. We want all of that. We want to make all of the money. Okay, so give us what we need, Schwab. That's what we're here for. Okay, and then let's come on down here. Let's see how fast we can move here let's come on down to the second box and then you're able to check irrevocable trust okay now the business trust box that's for individuals who are creating business trust and you know Mr. Aurora does that daily that's not what we're going to do right here okay they're asking for the trust information so we give them all the trust information no problem we've got it we can do that they're asking for the trustee information all right, if you only have one trustee, then you only fill out one box. You don't need to go through all of this. You see how easy this is? We're breezing through. <laughs> Let's see. Let me back it up because, yes, they're going to ask you for the grantor information. A lot of people say, why are they asking me for the grantor information? This is a bank, FDIC insured. They want the information. And so you can provide them with the grantor information. That's fine. And they also give you a space for more than one grantors because some people have a large situation going on and they need that. So they ask you for all of that. Okay. And you see we're just breezing down because we don't, we don't need any of this. Okay. So now this is where we're going to tell them we want checks only. Don't start sending us a debit card and all of those other shenanigans because we're not playing that game. Okay. We're in the wealth building game, buddy. Okay. And then we're going to come down here. Let's see, which one is this one? Miss Aurora needs visual assistance. <laughs> so see how we're just sliding through here? Okay, and now they're about to tell us about the trust checking account that comes attached. They're telling us all of this, okay? And we're going to do the trustee certification, all right? See, now the EIN for the trust is going to go here. Okay, because we need our checking account. 
we need our checking account because we're going to collect all the interest that we can. And when it's time to draw down these dividends, it's going into the right account. It's coming into the right entity so that uh, we can reap the benefits legally tax free. That's how we do it here in the Secured Entrepreneur Movement. And then we're going to sign and it's over. You see how easy that was? All right, now that you know that it's not going to cost a whole lot of money to get started, please take some action. Get your portfolio started. If in fact you do not have your limited liability companies already set up, if in fact you do not have at least one family trust set up, something, some asset management trust, you know that you can click the links below here on YouTube and Miss Aurora will definitely assist you in making that happen. All right, you all know that you can find me Aurora Day at AuroraDayConsulting.com and until next time, ta-ta.